Hi, welcome to our review tutorial. Here, I will teach you what is an array and how does array works. So, an array is a collection of similar data type. An array has two types, the one-dimensional array and the multi-dimensional array. But in this tutorial, I will only teach you how to make a one-dimensional array. So first, how does array works? Here, we have an array sample, an array containing a five elements. As you can see, we have number 0 to 4. This will serve as the index of our array. In array, index starts always at 0. So that every time we input a number, the first number is stored at array index 0. For example, we input 5. 5 is stored at array index 0. And if we input again, for example, 1, 1 will be stored at array index 1. And so on. There. If we continuously input numbers at the array, it will continuously be numbered according to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we have an array with 5 elements, 5, 1, 3, 0, and 7. And now I will teach you how to code an array. First, we have to make a new project Java application and we name it array array and there we have a class for our array next we have to declare the size of our array as final int size equals here, I used final keyword to set the size of our array as a constant 5. And size here will be the size of our, of our array as 5. Now, we can declare our array as in array equals new in. So here we have declared our array and we will set the size of our array as the size or 5. So for us to contain the array, we have to use the user input. As We used a for loop here to loop the array as to 0 to less than 5 or 4. As we know, 5 elements will be numbered 0 to 4. Here we used a array, we print array, then CTR to show you that you're inputting at array CTR. We'll see that later. Now we use array. As you can see, read in is not recognized because when we use when we get a user input, we have to import a Java method scanner. Oops. 
here. There. So we we'll now import a Java method scholar. And then we have to set a variable for our scholar. There we set our scanner as read in. So every time we get a user input, we use read in to get the user input and next in to store the user input at array CTR. And for us to show what our, our array contains, we have to set another for loop for traversing or for showing the the contents of our array. So here we have another for loop for showing us the contents of our array. If we run this, run, run file, there, we have, yes, you can see we have an array, zero, meaning we are inputting at array index zero. So if we input five, and then one, three, zero, and seven, we will have an array with five, one, three, zero, and seven values. And there we have an one-dimensional array. Thank you for watching. The next video, I will teach you how to make and what is a linear or sequential searching. Thank you guys.